What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TVs. Let me say this before I go forward in this particular video. I would not be shocked. I, I'm just going by the energy and the attention that this thing is getting. Keep in mind that First Take already generally gets something around 400 50 to approaching half a million views per day. I would not be surprised if on Monday, Shannon Sharp's first day on first take, I wouldn't be surprised if they get a million views. And I think I'm being rather conservative with that estimate. I wouldn't be surprised to get a million views. But anyway... Um, I just saw the latest episode of Club Shay Shay. And of course, it would make sense for Shannon Sharp to be promoting himself. That's his platform. Uh, so of course, Monday, he will be appearing on ESPN First Take. So his guest was none other than Stephen A. Smith. Now let me make this perfectly clear. <laughs> uh, let me make this perfectly clear. Um, <clears throat> I am not a big fan of Stephen A. Smith. All right, I don't know how many times I gotta keep repeating that. You gotta keep doing it to the lemmings out there to just react to any type of positive thing you have to say toward anybody. Oh man, I, I knew you really like Stephen A. Smith all these years. You've been trying to put a wool over my eyes. You're cool. No, I don't like Stephen A. Smith. All right. I don't think he gives a fuck if I like him. I don't give a fuck if he don't like me. He don't know me, though. But I don't know him. But I know enough of him not to like him from afar. Shannon Sharp, I don't dislike him um, per se, but sometimes he does things that can really get on my nerves. But having said all of that, I don't appreciate what Skip did to Shannon. And I think Stephen A. Smith mentioned that the other day. All right. Uh, in, in an excerpt that came out where um, Stephen A. Smith basically said that he knew when Shannon was going to leave. And it wasn't the uh, situation with DeMar Hamlin. Uh even though they weren't really being direct, I think it had to do with the situation when Skip told Stephen, uh, Steve, uh, when Skip told Shannon that he was jealous of Tom Brady and the put your glasses back on thing. Um, yeah, I think that's <clears throat> that's what Stephen Smith was referring to, man. Like, as a man. To have another man emasculate you like that on television and you know that as a black man you cannot at least it's very highly advised not to play into stereotypes especially considering that Shannon Sharp is like a, a, a hulk compared to Skip. So when you're a smaller guy like Skip you get away with being aggressive or volatile like does anybody really take your Sammy Sam seriously no because he's small do people really take for instance uh, George Jefferson seriously he's a black man not as serious because he's a small guy 5 foot 5 probably 150 pounds right but when you're a big guy like James Evans, or bigger, right? Then you proceed as a threat. So, Shannon's aware of these things, and I think that's what uh, they were, that that Stephen was talking about. When I saw that, <clears throat> it, I'll be honest with you, man. When, when I saw Shannon Sharp have to hold his tongue and, and hold in his pride, man, I cried because I know how that feels. I know how that feels. 
when because of the job you're at or because of you know obligations that you have as a man to provide for your family provide provide for your loved ones and even to a certain extent to provide for provide for yourself you hold your tongue and let things slide but it eats at you it eats at you right it eats at your pride and I think right then and there, that's when things became poison. That's when things became poison, man. And the Demar Hamlin thing was just, to me, the last straw. So basically, in this latest episode of Club Shay Shay, uh, they were just talking about, I mean, they won't spill in the whole tea, but <clears throat> they were talking about basically how Skip helped them both career wise and I think that goes both ways man yeah Skip gave them the opportunity right but they also helped Skip because I look at it like this and I made this comparison on my channel a couple months ago when all this stuff first went down um nobody credits you know, Kenny and Ivory Wayans for giving Jim Carrey that push that he needed to launch his career. Now, he didn't discover Jim Carrey. I can't say that. Jim Carrey had been around for a while. Jim Carrey had been doing movies in the 80s. But Jim Carrey had been failing. You want to know why Jim Carrey had been failing? Because Jim Carrey was never in the right environment, in the right uh, setup to display his talents. You know, he had been playing in movies where, you know, once bitten, where he's this love struck, lonely loser, but that's just not his forte of playing lighthearted comedies like that. Then he played in other movies, Earth Girls Are Easy, where he actually co-starred with Damon Wayans. And, you know, he was a stand-up, but he wasn't a star. Where he did his best work was in the utter chaos that was sketch comedy of In Living Color. And that's where he stood out. But nobody says, hey man, how come Jim Carrey don't give... Kidar wearing more props. Nobody says that. But everybody keep telling Shannon Sharp he needs to, you know, pray at the fucking holy grail that is fucking Skip Bayless. But I'll put you like this. The way I look at it, Shannon Sharp save Skip Bayless because you look at what's going on right now and it's fucking it, 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 I mean I, I don't know if it's look <laughs> it might not be the most politically correct thing to say but shit like it's the fucking crash of the Hindenburg right now on that show or the sinking of the Titanic or the Lusitania because shit ain't looking too good right now And you gotta also remember, remember this. It's not like Stephen A. ramped to Skip and begged to be on that show. Skip apparently came to Stephen A. Smith and asked him, Could you please come on my, on my show? Please. Right? Because. That, you know, that show was going on before First Take when it was Woody Hayes. Was it Woody Hayes or whatever the guy's name is? Woody. Woody Page, excuse me. Remember when it was Woody Page and Skip <clears throat> and they hated each other. It's funny. Everybody that worked with Skip had their issues with Skip. They got into a fist fight. Woody Page and Skip Bayless got into a fist fight Damn near on air. They cut to a commercial. 
and that skip, that that sketch, as well as Skip Bates' career was languishing until Stephen A. Smith saved his ass. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of Stephen A. Smith, but he did save his motherfucking ass. So, I mean, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. But I think, ultimately, man, that what's going to happen, yeah, it's going to die down a little bit. You know, ratings are going to go back to normal when it comes to ESPN first take. Yeah, I think they'll level off to about 500-something thousand, 600,000. But, as far as first take, nah. I, I don't think uh, Undisputed is going to be able to contain, man. And then it's not even just the cast members. and it's, just, it's not even just that, man. It's the topics. It's the same shit. It's the quality of the show as far as topics, too. Don't I want to keep hearing about LeBron, the Lakers... Dallas, and maybe, well, you can't have Tom Brady no more. So that's one less character to talk about. But that's what he does. It's it's the Lakers, LeBron James, uh, the Cowboys. And, and sneak this in uh, Russell Westbrook. That's it. But anyway, that's all I got to say about it, man. Tell what you guys think.